Hello guys, this is Jeff from GoPro Mechanic. We're gonna replace the water pump and the thermostat on this BMW E70 2011. So first of all, we're gonna remove this pipe connection. Okay, then we need a 30 millimeter bolt, socket wrench to remove this plate. And we remove the four bolts. Okay. Next we're gonna remove the fan. So first of all, we have this connection. There are two side uh, buttons in here. You push them simultaneously and you pull it. Okay, that's it. We put it aside. And then to remove the fan, there are, if you can see, there is like a clip in here. Okay, you can push it with your thumb as well with your hand okay i release the left side as you can see and the right side as well okay that's it i was wondering if after all these years you'd like to me to go over everything they say the time's supposed to heal you I remove this plate and here the cover These are the Phillips screws Okay, it's very easy to remove them And we have this reinforcement plates These are 16mm bolts So we're gonna remove them now I remove the reinforcement plate And we have now enough room space to work From the front side and the back side this is the pump and this is the thermostat. Now we're gonna begin draining the system. So we have this pipe connection that goes to the radiator and this is the thermostat. So we have this clip in here. I'm gonna try to remove this clip and remove the pipe. We remove the pipe and we're draining the system now. This is the second hose, okay, that is a clip somewhere there, I don't know if you can see it. And behind this, this is the third hose, that is a screw clip. So we're gonna remove this hose, and then after removing this hose, we're gonna go to the back hose with the screw clip. Okay, I remove this hose, guys. This is the third hose, where you can see the screw clip. We're gonna bring a long screwdriver and remove this clip and then pull out this hose. Now we're gonna try to pull out the, the hose. This is the hose that goes from one side, this side to the water pump and from this side to the thermostat. And as you can see, there is like a screw clip and we're gonna remove it and remove the pipe from the water pump side and keep it connected to the thermostat. I found it much easier to connect my six millimeter socket wrench and remove this screw clip. I'm gonna try to pull out the hose. We have this electrical connection that goes to the thermostat and these two 10 millimeter bolts that are connected to the water pump. So we're gonna remove these bolts and remove this electrical connection as well. Now we're gonna remove this cover in order to Get the thermostat out. Can you hear me? I'm in California dreaming about who we used to be when we were younger and free. 
I've forgotten how it felt before the world fell out. Remove the thermostat. We have this last hose. We have this screw screw clip that we're gonna unscrew and remove the pipe, and we're gonna remove this connection. There's such a difference between us and the million miles. Okay, guys. We remove the connection. I think this connection has to be changed because um, there was water in it and some oil from the outside. This is the, the bolt from the upper side and we're gonna try to remove it from the motor side. E10 socket wrench, you are able to connect it to the bolt and remove it. We're removing the, the bolts from the bottom side first. 10 millimeter bolts and now we're gonna try to remove the pump from the side okay easy make sure you do not ruin the radiator these pipe connections you can put them aside and then this is the water pump this is the 41 the water went inside the plug connection and that is the problem that's the main problem these are the original parts that i bought from the bmw group this is the distilled water this is the water pump this is the reference number this is the thermostat these are the antifreeze this is the new water pump, the original one. If you want to spot the differences, these are both made in Germany, as you can see in here. And the only difference is that you can see the, the BMW stamp. However, on the old one, there is no stamp in here. And we're gonna check now the thermostat. Okay, so it's pretty the same, but the difference is that this is the BMW stamp. That's it. Okay guys, so we're gonna install the new water pump now. As I told you, this is the original one. This is the BMW stamp, BMW group from the main company, two years warranty. And these are the bolts, they are designed to be installed one time as you can see i fit this hose through the inlet uh, manifold of the water pump i still didn't uh, fasten the screw clip and from this side i put one of the screws the bolt one of the bolts and the second one is still uh, not installed so i'm gonna Tighten this bolt and then install the second one and tighten it and after that I'm gonna tighten this screw uh, clip Now we have this pipe this hose and this is the clip screw clip You can see that the connection is installed and it's totally fitting inside the socket now we're gonna install the thermostat we're gonna remove this pipe connection the u pipe connection hose and install it on the new thermostat was installed and i tightened the clamp this clamp is uh, for the hose that goes to the water pump. Now I have to connect uh, and tighten the 
a thermostat on the holes of the water pump, these two holes. Okay guys, this is the hose connection to the thermostat. This is the U-shaped hose from the water pump and the thermostat. It is installed now. So we still have three hoses to the thermostat to be connected. Guys, this is the hose from the bottom side and make sure that the clamp is closed and we're gonna try to fit it into the manifold of the thermostat. And you should hear the click sound okay that's it it's not going out so it's totally installed perfectly now okay let's try to do the second hose now this hose would go this in this manifold of the thermostat and it has a screw clamp so we're gonna fit this hose into the input and tighten the screw now we're gonna put the antifreeze in the coolant tank so the whole system would take like three gallons but of course that would still we still have water inside the motor so we're gonna put at first the antifreeze this is 1.5 liters and we're gonna put the distilled water it's not necessary to combine them before uh, filling the system because the when we do the bleeding uh, cycle the system would like combine them uh, all together We're gonna add distilled water. Now I connected this manual pump to the coolant system, coolant tank, and I made some pressure. And I'm gonna look for any leakage if, uh, if there is. Now for the bleeding process, I'm gonna connect the negative cable of the battery. ventilator to the minimum the, uh, the fan to the minimum and the temperature to the maximum and we press and hold for 12 seconds the gas pedal okay now you can see the fan is on so we're gonna add as much as needed till the maximum As you can see the pump is working now the bleeding process we added coolant till the maximum level and you can add up during these 12 minutes if you see that the level is below the minimum or below the maximum i'm gonna show you the the errors on this e70 bmw x5 and after changing the water pump thermostat uh, we're gonna erase all the codes Okay, these are absent now for the water pump and all the BSD connections so we go out escape and then we do a quick erase to erase all the faults that were happening before the replacement of the water pump and the thermostat okay, thank you for watching guys I hope you enjoyed the video please subscribe to my youtube channel and see you in my next video Get out of that town where nothing ever happened It's no secret that the both of us are running